Timo Intraveen, who's the Managing Director of Cessna, the Centre for Studies on New Religions. And his presentation is Filming the Age of Kingdom, the End Times and the Movies of the Church of Almighty God. Massimo. So thank you, Simon. It's, as they say, now for something completely different. <laughs> And, uh, but perhaps not so different given the place where we are. And uh, it's about uh, movies produced by Christian Chinese new religious movement, uh, which is subject to systematic persecution in China. Chinese criminal code does Article 300 uh, uh, punishing with jail penalty to three to seven years or more uh, uh, activity in groups listed as CA Jiao. Uh, actually, the definition of CA Jiao is very vague, and uh, for all practical purposes, you are a CA Jiao if you are in the list of the CA Jiao, which is periodically updated by the authorities. Now, uh, since a few years ago, uh, the quintessential CIGA was Falun Gong, but Falun Gong has been almost completely eradicated in China, so now uh, number one is the Church of Almighty God. That's a new religious movement uh, established in 1991 and teaching that Jesus Christ returned to earth in the shape of a uh, Chinese woman proclaim the fullness of truth and uh, they have produced this uh, new holy scripture the word appears in the flesh is actually one million words now the chinese regime accuses church of almighty god of being responsible of uh, various crimes including killing a woman in a mcdonald's in 2014 was actually invited to China twice last year to conferences on or perhaps against the Church of Almighty God. So I had access to the main police file uh, and even Chinese scholars now recognize this crime was very much real but was perpetrated by a different group with a similar name but not the large Church of Almighty God. So, uh, according uh, uh, to the Chinese government and police, uh, uh, they grew to the phenomenal number of 4 million members uh, from 91 to now. Perhaps they are less, or so the scholars think, but still they are in, in the millions. And that's one of the reasons they are persecuted. The government is normally afraid of groups growing too rapidly. Uh, particularly after 2014 and the uh, false accusation of being responsible for McDonald's murder, uh, thousands have escaped abroad. Here you see their church in the South Korea. They have a minimal presence in the UK. Actually, the second largest presence is in Italy after uh, uh, South Korea, then the US, Canada, France, Germany, Australia, and Hong Kong, and Taiwan. Uh, just a quick idea of their theology. Uh, they divide, as many other new religious movements, the sacred history in different uh, ages or dispensations. Uh, the Old Testament is the age of law. The New Testament is the age of grace of Jesus Christ. And since 1991, when uh, the return Jesus, the Almighty God, which is a Chinese woman, has manifested, they will say himself, uh, use he rather than uh, she, we live uh, in uh, the age of kingdom. Uh, Jesus Christ uh, uh, did a great job, but didn't eradicate our sinful nature. We can look at ourselves, we still have a tendency to sin. And now the Almighty God comes to uh, teach us how to completely eradicate uh, our sinful nature and become purified. So we live in the age of kingdom, but uh, then there will be the age of the millennial kingdom, uh, which will be uh, 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 transform the earth where those who have been purified uh, will live uh, forever. 
the church doesn't believe that uh, the person uh, it recognizes the mighty God will live forever. This person will die and we will see some of the catastrophes of the book of Revelation, which are not uh, miraculous, they are cessationist. Uh, there are no miracles any longer, so there will be natural disasters. But uh, there is a happy end because after these natural disasters, the, there is no end of the world. The planet will not be destroyed and we will enter into this millennial kingdom of peace and joy. Uh, the movement has been accused of predicting the end of the world in 2012, uh, uh, but that's not actually true uh, and it's even impossible in their theology where there is no end of the world and there could not have been catastrophes in 2012 because the catastrophes uh, uh, should follow uh, the, the end of the mission of Almighty God who was comparatively young in 2012 and is still alive today. Now one of the reasons they are persecuted is precisely uh, their interpretation of the book of Revelation. They started being persecuted well before being accused of any crime uh, because of this precisely, uh, because they interpret uh, uh, the great uh, evil red dragon of the book of Revelation as a figure of communism and particularly of Chinese Communist Party uh, and uh, the persecution uh, of uh, Christians, including of their group in China, is a sign uh, uh, of, uh, uh, it's really what the, the book of Revelation was talking about, but uh, it's also important uh, that they do not advocate any political revolution and are aware and will not succeed. So they say communism, as it happened in Soviet Union, will fall naturally because will not be able to solve China's uh, problems. Now, the uh, diaspora, the, the persecution, which is very serious, I mean, there are uh, being discussed as United Nations right now, this is the year of human rights revision for China, uh, uh, extrajudicial killings, tortures, so there are a lot of bad stories. Uh, the, the, the diaspora, uh, uh, people escaping from China to unintended consequences as it happened for other groups. First there was a globalization of the movement, now there are uh, Western converts. I interviewed uh, uh, quintessentially uh, American business people who converted to the Church of Almighty God. And on the other hand, there was a flourishing of the arts. They always said in their holy book, A Doctrine of Beauty, but uh, in China where we were busy escaping the police, so they could not sit and produce works of art. But they did in the diaspora uh, uh, paintings. Uh, they produced collection of like 7,000 paintings in this from 2014 to now. Uh, which are rarely exhibited outside of the movement, but what is very public are the movies. And some of them are quite skilled and already had an artistic training in China. Most of them are middle class, are not uh, uh, peasants. And even if their theology is very different from the common evangelical theology, uh, they have won award in evangelical movie festivals because of the quality of their movie, particularly Xiao Zhen's story which is, I would say, more beautiful, but it's not about the, the revelation or the end days. So I will analyze another movie of 2016, which is called Human Beings Have Regained the Sanctity Once Possessed, sometime also presented as New Heaven and New Heart. And I will discuss some clippings and then come to some conclusion. So the first clip I'll show you is about uh, uh, hell. Uh, what is hell? Uh, many people uh, will die in the great disasters after Almighty God concludes uh, her or his uh, mission and uh, uh, will descend into a condition called uh, hell.
I hope you are able to see the light is nothing to write home about. But... So you see the apocalyptic imagery which we have seen today in completely different context. Help me! Help me! Oh heaven! Who can help me? Help! 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 movement is also called Easter Lightning, and the lightning from the East is actually this person of Almighty God coming from China to save us. The other clips are short. seen hell what about uh, demons uh, when these people are precipitated into hell they are tortured by demons and also they torture themselves that uh, uh, reminds me as an Italian of Dante the damned are also of course uh, violent uh, between themselves One image uh, which returns also in other movies, Church of the Mighty God, is the, the men transformed into animals. And that's also common in evangelical uh, uh, Christian imagery. If you if you follow your law nature, you are like an animal. Now. We understand that at work in the last days is the great red dragon, we know it's the Chinese Communist Party, and uh, the red dragon uh, is behind these last days tragedies. Now this clip is working, yes, it's a bit darkish. Hope you can see the dragon. Of course, some of you can say that it takes into account a Chinese tradition of imagery and perhaps even uh, uh, Chinese uh, cartoons. Yeah, that's a different horror of Babylon from the one we saw before, but it's also the same, of course. Then we know uh, at one stage there will be disasters after Almighty God leaves Earth, but the planet will not be destroyed. That again reminds of some Japanese uh, uh, manga about the end of the world or 
the prophecies of Nostradamus, uh, but the theology is very different, but the, I'm talking about the imagery. So disasters are natural, are like uh, nuclear war or uh, earthquake. However, in the end, the great red dragon and Satan's minion are destroyed by the lightning, which is really Almighty God, the Eastern lightning coming down from heaven. And so, as we read in the book of Revelation, Satan and his minions are precipitated in the abyss, the Babylon woman too. Not Chinese. And we are talking of a musical. The genre is a musical. It's not. Uh, it's not a movie. It's a mu. It's a, it, it's a musical. So it doesn't end well for the Hur of Babylon, <laughs> but uh, it, what really happened, uh, as we will see in this next cartoonish uh, uh, scene, is uh, the humans tempted by Satan, they are armed uh, with the word, which here is not so much the word of the Bible, but the word of the new Bible. The word appears in the flesh, uh, and the, if you are armed with the word, you are able to defeat Satan. Here you will see that the style is very similar to Eastern Asian cartoons. In another way, that's similar to many evangelical uh, production in the U.S. <laughs> 
superhero. <laughs> so the world without God is a sad work, but in the end, uh, as I say, that's uh, uh, it's premillennial, but at the same time, it's postmillennial. Uh, because the humanity will hear God's voice, accept God's salvation, and come back to the light. And uh, in the end, this is a performance within uh, what is called in China, it's very popular, it's called Peking, not Beijing, Peking in the old way, opera style, which is music perhaps we do not fully appreciate in the West, but Chinese, it's, uh, it's very popular. And they celebrate in song this renewal of God's creation through God's word. <laughs> Of course, if you go to China, you'll see similar cities celebrating the Communist Party. So the content uh, is completely opposite. So that's a quote from the whole New Holy Scripture, all that the corrupt world of the past has at last toppled over into the filthy water and sinking below the surface dissolved into mud. All that all the humanity, I, it's Almighty God speaking, I created as a last came back to life again in the light, found the foundation for existence and ceased to struggle in the mud. So, and then there is a happy end uh, because, and that's again you will see in many Christian imagery, it's not completely invented by Church of Almighty God, the lion with the lamb, the tiger with the, or the lion with the humans, but that's produced uh, in Korea actually, this one, as a musical, and so it ends up. Uh, uh, with dances and uh, songs, uh, which are, here it's K-pop, it's Korea pop, it's, it's really more Korea pop, remember the Nangnam style. So of course, these young men go to school in Korea, so that's the, the music of Korean teenagers. So that's the post-apocalypse, uh, pacified, peacified earth. Oh! 
Chinese Republic. And you know, Christians, Oriental Christians normally dress in jacket and tie. So, some conclusion. Uh, human beings have regained the sanctity they once possessed. It's obviously about the peculiar theology of Church of Almighty God, which is different from the usual evangelical theology. Evangelical will not believe God has returned in the shape of a Chinese woman. Also, here there is no end of the world. There will be persecution and disasters, but in the end, the dragon will be defeated, and those purified by Almighty God will live forever in a transfigured earth. So the theo theological content is new, and also the style is new, it's not traditional. So you see Beijing opera, K-pop, uh, some traditional Christian songs, and also Latino dance. So uh, I believe it's uh, in a way, it's understandable these things can be successful in evangelical festivals in the U.S. because evangelicals will find something familiar. But on the other hand, the fact that theology is so different, typical of a new religious movement, also in a way translates uh, in a uh, different style. And uh, I believe the interest of this for this conference uh, is to show how in this genre, which is huge, of movies produced by new religious movements, particularly Christian new religious movements, we have some of the same imagery discussed in this conference, but presented uh, uh, with a, a different language, which is very eclectic, because it takes from traditional Christian iconography, but it takes from cartoons, from comics, uh, uh, from uh, Chinese opera, and from many other sources. Thank you. Uh, so Massimo, you'd be interested to know that Shen Jin claps his hands at you. Um, Shun Li says thanks. Um, Jeremy Spence has a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions for... Massimo. Anyone? Or comments? Is there any dialogue in the films? Uh, I mean, in it, other it, films, it yes. Not in this one. This one is a musical. Uh, and is and there it an was r actually represented on stage as a musical, so there is really no no dialogue, but other movies have dialogue. Uh, they have, um, uh, uh, I believe, the one who won most award uh, is a very sad movie. It's called Chronicles of Religious Persecution in China, and it's about torture in Chinese jails, and it's done through actors. Of course, you cannot go to a jail in China and film torture, but it's done through actors, uh, and it's done quite well. And so, of course, that's a docudrama with uh, continuous dialogue, uh, but this one, or Shao Zen, who is about uh, conversion, uh, these are in, with a word of musical, so. Uh, is, uh, is there a narrative structure? Uh, yeah, there is a narrative structure, but that's really a theological structure, meaning uh, you see the, uh, the, the, the people going to hell, uh, the world in crisis, uh, uh, not the end of the war, because there is no end of the war, but the end of the war as we know it, uh, with the disasters of the Book of Revelation, and you also see Satan and the whore of Babylon uh, defeated by uh, Almighty God, uh, and the humans entering into a purified world where they will live forever. So that's a very theological uh, movie. It's the, the theology of Church of Almighty God, uh, which in part is very similar to Christian theology, the traditional one, in part it's not, 
put in a movie. But they have produced many movies. If you go to their website, you can see many of it. And some, are, of course, are movies with dialogue about evangelization, resistance to evangelization. But uh, those who, uh, I believe, are more appreciated by outsiders are the musicals. Okay. <laughs> outsiders, I mean Christian outsiders in general. Thank you. Um, to excuse me, you need the microphone, but I need a hand first. Are, are there any questions? Of, okay, so two more. Thank you. I just wonder, was that the intended audience, the outside Christians, Christians not in China? Is that what you meant? Um, these movies, I believe in a way they are smuggling to China, but uh, mostly they are intended for non-Chinese who came across the websites of uh, Church of Almighty God. Actually, I did a study of how people get converted to the Church of Almighty God. And in China, they get converted through uh, family or friendly or village networks. Uh, uh, because, of course, the internet is strictly controlled. It's much more difficult. To, you can, but it's difficult. But in the West, uh, the, the large majority of those who converted to the Church of Almighty God, or as they would say, return to the Almighty God, 90% uh, were converted through the internet. So it's people who, who, who like what they see on the internet or join their Facebook group, and then they have like a fa Facebook, uh, what they call fellowship meetings on Facebook, uh, where people via Facebook interact and discuss. Uh, and of course, uh, social scientists will tell you nobody gets converted only through the internet. At some stage, a uh, face-to-face meeting is needed. But the, the first, uh, uh, approach to Church of Almighty God leading to conversion in the West, it's normally through, through the internet. They have huge, they have many websites, uh, uh, a very strong presence on social networks, uh, and uh, uh, there is a lot of people watching these productions, and uh, some of them become interested. Normal people are already in the evangelical uh, uh, in a way, apocalyptic circle who are not completely persuaded uh, from uh, uh, the main line and are looking for something else. One of the interviews I reproduced, uh, it's somebody who wasn't the Jehovah's Witnesses, but was not completely persuaded by the Jehovah's Witnesses, yet he has, she found something similar uh, with more clear answers, she claimed, uh, about uh, the end days, and so she switched from Jehovah's Witnesses to this group. Okay, we've got two more. We're already over time, so please keep your questions brief. All right, you know, in Elmhurst, New York, has one of the largest Church of God. Right down on the R train, get on the R train at Long Island City, go to Elmhurst every day. They're outside dancing in the little par Elmhurst Park, giving out literature. I almost converted, except I wanted to ask them, who's paying for all this? Perhaps you, they will not reveal where the money comes from. I believe it's CIA money. To bring down to bring down the Maoist regime, which is now yeah, the capital, uh, the yeah, Bank of, of course, China regime. Of course, that's one of the uh, that's part of the Chinese propaganda. It's like the Russian propaganda against Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, uh, actually, uh, they they have some rules about finances. For the first year after you join, you cannot donate even if you want. But after one year you are stable in the group, uh, you are encouraged to donate, but it's free. I mean, some people pay a tithe, e the, even the real 10% as some Mormons do. Some people make different donations. Since the group is huge, it's in the millions, uh, they do have donations and they came across in the West uh, uh, into some quite wealthy people make significant donations, both Chinese and Westerners who converted and, uh, for instance, they tithe, so donations are, are quite significant. Uh, 
No, I don't believe the CIA is using such <laughs> groups, but that's a very old story. I mean, the Russians and the Soviets have used it for long, uh, and or the, the Venezuelans, the Cubans, so it's very old stuff, but uh, I don't believe there is any substance in it. Hi, um, I just have a quick question about the um, persecution after the McDonald's murders. Did, did this activity in creating all these videos intensify, or to what extent was it present before? The persecution, I mean, they're persecuted in China before, obviously, but I mean, like, it was a relationship mm. between, because when I was looking yeah, for information then, there was very little on the internet, and it seems like yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah, 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 no, uh, the persecution started quickly, because they f are found in, in 91, they get in the list of Xie Zhao in 95, and so they started being, because being uh, active in a Xie Zhao is a crime, so they started being arrested. But there have been massive arrests in 2012 uh, when they were accused of predicting the end of the world, which was actually not true. And then in 2014 after the McDonald's murder. So there is some production. Because production, uh, you see, requires, uh, you cannot say, hello, we are a church of Almighty God and we want a theater to do a musical in China. We will just arrest everybody. Uh, so you should be abroad. And something started like 2013, 2012, but it's really after 2014 there was a flourishing of this artistic uh, uh, activity. My point is a doctrine of beauty as important uh, and uh, expressing through art as important uh, was included since the beginning in the uh, utterances of Almighty God, but could only be developed outside of China for practical reasons. Thank you very much.